Yo guys, what is going on? This is Yorkie Man back here, and we are with Stoke City. And uh, yeah, we've done our preseason, done the transfers we could with the budget we were given, and we're ready for a new year, ready for a new season. So I will show you um, the transfers first. Quite a few. Um, good ones from my point of view. We spent 4.55 million. As you can see, dead weight was cut this year. We didn't make a lot of money, but a lot of players that didn't need to be there. I mean, Matthew Everington, Glenn Whelan, Ryan Shotton, Peter Crouch, Andy Wilkinson. You know, the old heads and some youngsters as well that were, were never going to make it in the team have gone. Quite a few loanies. Um, well, loans have gone out. But... Yeah, really, nothing nothing major. No one out of the ordinary. People who were dead wood, to be fair to me, have, have left. So, what we did, first off, I kind of thought to myself, right, we need we need another striker. Tyvon and didn't get it in last year. He might do this year, but I'm not pinning it on that. And this man became available. Mattia Destro, unbelievable striker. Um, looks like a great prospect in real life. And I thought, you know... I'm going to take him on. It's the same star rating as every striker we've got. With the ability to become nearly five stars. So I was like, right. He would be good to bring in and good for the future. Uh, Gareth Barry came up on a free. He's a pretty big wage. But um, he's going to be a solid player that just sits in there this year. He's he's a good centre midfielder. Uh, Romolo from Fiorentina. Uh, again... I needed, you know, another right-sided midfielder or, or someone who could play defensive right, you know, a little bit like Mesto, but hopefully someone who can get the job done. Uh, so we brought this guy in and he had a great pre-season, as you can see there, 7.10 uh, rating. Oh, it's early. We brought in Torgan Hazard. Good youngster, just on loan from Chelsea, I thought, again, he could play... Um, Right, left, and up front, but um, I, I think the biggest thing for me was I was trying to, um, I spent a lot of the transfer period trying to sign a big player, trying to get uh, Marco Maron in. Um, I couldn't get him in, and then I went for Ola John um, to play the wings, and I couldn't get him in. So we, we ended up with, we settled in with him alone, and Stephen Island comes back to the club on a free transfer. I thought he had a good year for us last year. Um... To be fair, uh, I thought he had quite a solid year. 26 games, 2 goals, 3 assists. You know, it didn't do bad. So we decided to pick him up. Um, fixtures then. Um, it, it's only been pre-season. And to be honest with you, I didn't even take all of these. We had a lot of friendlies. But as you can see, we only lost one. You know, beating Bardo, Athletic, Espanyol. Um, you know, beating teams that stuck guard. Teams that are tough, but our game today, our first game, is going to be against Fulham in the Premiership. We're on TV. I'm hoping things are going to go well. Uh, let's just have a quick look at the finances. Financially, we are in a pretty solid state. I was, well, I wasn't expecting, but I wanted more money than what I got this year for the transfers. Uh, I wasn't, you know, overly happy with what I got. We've still got um, a good chunk of wage budget and a little bit of a... Transfer money left, but yeah, I can't, I can't see us doing anything now. Uh, I think this will probably be the squad that we take. There may be a loan or two in there, but looks like this will probably be the squad we take. And um, so hopefully this this for me should be a win. So we don't get off to a slow start. We played a lot of friendlies, so match fitness shouldn't really be an issue. Right. Let's do the usual. Barry Adam and Anzonzi, I like that there. Arinavich, Shea. Hmm. Wilson's got there. Sharkross, Hoof, Peters. Uh, I'm going to start this then. Over Hoof. Hoof had a horrible season last season, if you guys remember. Um, Tyvonen had a really good preseason, so he's going to get the start. Show me what you can do. Yeah, that's it. But I think Tyvon had the best preseason. You know, four and three goals, seven point three. Let's give him that opportunity. You know, it might have been like um, 
first season syndrome where he had such a par because he he did have a pretty dreadful first season if if we're being honest um so hopefully you know i want him to turn that around i didn't spend i spent more money on him than i did on destro so i didn't spend that money for him not to turn it around let's have a good good first game I'll just change this up Two D classic. We'll keep it with key. I think we just get through the episodes quicker. I mean, um, transfer window was pretty open shut for me. Once I signed Destro, I was like struggling, um, really struggling for for players to bring in. There were loads I wanted, but we we really did struggle. No, I don't like this. Get it clear. Thank you. Let's put it on extended actually, because there was barely any highlights there. But yeah, it it was tough to get players in. I like this. They're in control at the minute. Good one, Barry. Shay. Barry. Oh, what are you doing? May have to change formation. It's not really working out at the minute. Tyvonen, Barry, Distan, and Zonzi back to Begovic. Uh, we want to be getting the ball forward, lads. Putting that one upfield. Can Shea get to it? He does, uh, but plays it straight to Angelin. Rifa, Ruiz. Oh, Sodell's got pace. Begovic. Good lad. Come on. Come on, boys. Get at him. Attack him. Barry. Zonzi. Adam. Peters. Shea. Good player. Uh, this stand back to Barry. I don't think we've had a shot yet. Adam, well, we haven't had a highlighted shot. Come on, lad, share. Uh, losing out again. He may have to come off. Playing that ball into Sardell again. Good save. Good save. we got, we got to stop that, though. That's We can't be letting that happen. Poor first half, so you know I'm not happy. I'm gonna change it up. Same players on, but you know they won't be on for long unless they can start pulling something together. Um, come on, boys, get out there and get us a win. Opening game of the season. Let's you know let's let's get a let's get a V for victory. I mean, the squad is probably stronger than last year's squad, but only by a touch, I would say. It's not like a major overhaul and improvement. There there are areas I feel more comfortable in. Come on, Tyvonen. New season, great opportunity for you, Adam. Ah. You know, in, in certain areas I feel stronger. I, I certainly don't feel any weaker. Um... But it, it it was tough putting this team together. Ah, corner kick. Come on. Ah, I'm going back to key. Extended it frustrating me. They're really drawn out this year. Oh, ah, off the upright. Right, changes are coming in play them. So what I'm going to do here, something I tried in pre-season. And do that. And hopefully, that'll give us some joy. 
I haven't been really impressed with Shea today, so let's bring Walters on for Shea. Right, let's see how this uh, how this does us. Not the greatest opening game of the season. It's been really slow, slow starting. Adams and Zonzi. Uh, Everton actually tried to come in for Nzonzi, which I was like, nope. Adams. Go on, Adams. Uh, uh, corner. What can we do with the corner? Shawcross is deadly at corners. Get it on his head. Distan. Nzonzi. Uh. Yeah, Everton were coming in for him. Um, one of the main reasons I signed Gareth Barry was because he could play DM. I thought, oh, someone's going to come in for, for Nzonzi, and if they offer me a price that I can't really refuse, then I'm going to have to. But um, no, no one came in for him at the end. Looks like it's going to be a draw. Struggle to get going. Again, not impressed with Tyvonen. Not at all. Is there a late drama? No, whistle's about to go. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm sorry, guys. Our opening game, and that was dull. Very dull. Um. Not not very impressed with the way we played. To be honest with you, we had more shots than them, more possession than them. But yeah, I mean, we'll take we'll take a draw. Um. Just a little, little bit disappointing because you know I was hoping for a for a good victory today. I was hoping for an interesting live com as well. You guys haven't had the greatest um, live comms to watch. Let's see what's what's next on the agenda. Let's see what the next game for us is. Um, that's one. So Newcastle next, and to be honest with you, our running isn't bad. I would say we should beat Southampton. Obviously, we should beat Nottingham Forest. We should beat Palace. We should beat Cardiff, and we should beat Swansea. Um, if we're playing right, no, I'm sorry for yawning. I'm knackered. Yeah, if we're playing right, I think they they're games that we should definitely win. But um, I I'm just a little bit a little bit disappointed with that, you know. Um, not the result I was expecting at all. I was hoping that our boys were going to go out there and just take it, you know, take it by storm, but not at all. Send assistant to that shit. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to hit that subscribe button now. Follow me on Twitter, at Yorkyman. Uh, that's where I, I don't really, I'm not at the point of posting links, but I will tell you when the videos are up and whatnot and, uh, what's going on and I actually do live streams I've started a live stream in the Stoke City save live so you can have a live input um, actually on the save on the team selections and stuff like that and players um, they're, they're live on Twitch so if you go over to Twitch uh, it's Yorkie Man on there as well You've, you know uh, become a follower on there and, and whatnot but uh, anyway guys thank you for watching and I will catch you I'll catch you in a while see ya